Well, for me, it started in 2014, 2015. I had two car accidents with concussion and whiplash at that time within three months and didn't even have a chance to heal. <laughs> Got hit a second time. Um, and I was really out of commission a lot. Um, I did have a chiropractor in Calgary that did some neurology stuff with me. Um, it wasn't nearly as precise and fine-tuned as here, but I did see benefits of doing it. And, um, and it did actually help over a period of time with those first two accidents. Um, then unfortunately in 2016 I got hit in the head again by a kid in a rage, had a third concussion, and um, at that point it was through workers' comp and they pushed me into a brain injury program with Lifemark Physiotherapy that completely was the wrong thing to do. It overloaded my system, caused me to go into panic attacks. I was just getting worse and worse and worse and they kept pushing and pushing. So I advocated for myself <laughs> and they cut down the hours in half but that still wasn't good enough. Um, and then I found that we ran into issues with even the neurology stuff helping because we kind of hit a plateau and couldn't figure out. I think there was a lot of damage done with that kind of treatment. Um, I tried massage, which was hard at times because it overstimulated my system and I couldn't do it. I tried craniosacral therapy um, that I had some temporary results from, but nothing lasting. I tried regular chiropractic, I did energy healing, I did um, Kyle Kunst homeopathy. I was kind of running everywhere. <laughs> Physio, acupuncture, <laughs> did it all and nothing really helped. Um, and then because of my lawsuits, I was kind of told from the car accidents um, with some of the specialists they sent me to that I had chronic pain disorder and then this was probably a thing that would last the rest of my life and I just have to maintain it and whatever. <laughs> so I didn't want to really believe that. And I think basically because my chiropractor already, he is board certified, he just hasn't had enough time to experience a real clinical setting, right? But he knew of this clinic here. <laughs> And he highly, highly, highly recommended that I come and do it. Um, so I did have to wait till, till I had a settlement through those accidents. And despite the fact that they were telling me there was nothing I was going to be able to do but maintain symptoms, um, I did it. And I'm so glad I did it. Because <laughs> I came in here honestly, oh, and then the day before I was leaving to drive out here, I got rear-ended again. <laughs> doing nothing <laughs> but um, yeah so I had some symptoms flare up but my life for the past two or three four years has been everything's such a heightened level that any little thing throws my system out of whack and brings up symptoms again and stuff so I had trouble staying in jobs um, and I worked in psychology so it was tough for me that way because um, those are stressful jobs as it is, and I just couldn't take the stress and the triggers. I had a lot of emotional stuff that was going on, and then when anything would resemble that, it would trigger me, and then symptoms would explode again. So I was just constantly up and down. So that's how I came in here, <laughs> the very heightened system. My blood pressure was super high, just maybe from being hit again, I don't know. Um, and just throwing everything out of whack again. I had tons of head pressure and just feeling like I had these blocks where I just couldn't think. Um, and so I went through probably... What I love here is that the testing is so precise and accurate and then it seems to have been easy for you guys anyway to come up with what needed to be done as my baseline, right? And, um, and that worked really, really well for me. I was absolutely tired and fatigued though the first three days especially. Um, and testing was super hard and miserable to get through. <laughs> but then all of a sudden, like an absolute switch the fourth day. And uh, things got a lot easier. 
Um, still a little bit of ups and downs for sure, but now they're at least easily worked out and I can be a little easier on myself too when something doesn't go how I planned. But I feel like I can just, I, I don't have that head pressure anymore. I My neck is slowly starting to relax. <laughs> I think I got new whiplash from that accident, but um, it's getting there. Um, I can notice the difference. I do exercises and all those things relax. Um, but then if I push a little bit, they'll, it'll start to come back. So then I know my limits too. So it's been a remarkable experience. I just feel like I, my brain actually works again and I can go back on being a lot more confident that I can just go through everyday life and not hit these obstacles all the time and not know what I can do and what I can't do and unexpectedly be hit and then suffer for like four or five days afterwards. <laughs> yeah.